Welcome to this video. My name is Roxy. I've been a full-time mountain bike coach for over 10 years now. I run the YouTube channel Ride and Inspire and I have an online coaching platform in German which is called roxybike.online. In the following videos, thank you to the mountain bike hopper for giving me this opportunity. I will teach you a few skills and make it easier for you to jump with the mountain bike hopper. In this video, we are looking at some of the prerequisites to jumping. So what you have to think about before you start to jump. A lot of people love to jump their mountain bike, but they don't really know where to start. And that's what we're looking at today. Question number one I get a lot of times is what kind of bike do I use to jump? Do I use a dirt bike? Do I use a full suspension bike, a hardtail? What exactly do I use? And let me assure you, it doesn't really matter which bike you use, it's just that the bikes react a little differently. And that's what we're looking at next. So what advantages would a dirt bike have? A dirt bike doesn't have any suspension or maybe it has a fork. It's pretty direct. So everything you do will come back to you pretty directly because it doesn't have a, a big travel fork and a suspension to absorb what you're doing. This does have advantages. However, it also has the disadvantage that if you do make an error, then it's not as comforting as a full suspension bike. Another advantage is that it's smaller and shorter, so it's easier to handle, especially in the air. The next would be a hardtail bike. These usually have a fork. That's why they're called hardtail, because the tail is hard, but they have a fork. It is similar to a dirt bike, so you get back whatever you do pretty fast. However, they're usually longer, which makes them a little harder to handle in the air. And the next bike we also recommend is a full suspension bike, which means it has a fork and a suspension in the rear. That's what I'm riding. And the advantage of this is that if you do make some kind of error, then usually the bike kind of helps you to mask this error. The disadvantage, however, is that suspension is there to absorb. So you might need more energy from your body to do specific moves. The advantage is that you can go bigger a little faster because it absorbs when you land. One important note on full suspension bikes is that if your suspension is set up badly, then it can also kick you around. So ask your friendly local bike dealer or watch a tutorial by one of the suspension brands how to set up your suspension correctly for your weight and also the rebound and everything that belongs to the suspension. The next question I get a lot of times is how much tire pressure do I run? This is not a question that I will be answering exactly because it depends on a lot of factors. However, run a little more than you would usually run. That's a very good tip to start off with. The next tip is which kind of pedals shall I use? That is pretty easy. I would definitely recommend flat pedals. The advantage of these pedals is that you can kind of get off your bike much safer. So if you want to hit the eject button, then you're safe too. And you learn the right technique. So the clean technique straight away. You can transfer this technique to clipless pedals. So if you're riding clipped in without a problem, but it doesn't work the other way around. My next tip is protect yourself. So always wear a helmet, ideally wear gloves and wear knee pads if you have also elbow pads, especially if you're planning to do this on a hard surface. Have fun with the next videos. Goodbye.